first one millionth of a second after nuclear detonation, the heat is already so extreme that a ball of plasma forms. It's a fireball so hot, it reduces everything inside it to subatomic particles. The core of our star is 15 million degrees Celsius, making it the hottest point in the entire solar system. But for a brief moment in time, it becomes the second hottest point because the core of a nuclear fireball can reach 100 million degrees. To put that in perspective, that's 20,000 times hotter than the vaporization point of diamond, one of the most resilient materials in the entire universe. So it doesn't matter if you're in a fridge or a bunker or a bunker made of diamond, if you're inside of this fireball, you will get deleted from existence. All this heat radiates outward at the speed of light, instantly scorching anything unfortunate enough to be within view. This real test footage shows the paint getting vaporized at the moment of detonation. It's quite literally a laser engraver, but like everywhere. Anything combustible immediately ignites on fire, including everything within a mile of this explosion. All the people within a mile and a half would receive third degree burns. It's a burn so bad you don't even feel it. And looking at this test footage, what I find fascinating is that it's not actually windy. What we're seeing is the heat of the nuke pushing the smoke away like it's the solar wind or something. It's just that intense. The shockwave is a sphere of high pressure air that expands outward faster than the speed of sound. In fact, this shockwave is so powerful it levels up into something even deadlier. When it hits the ground, it reflects back up to recombine with itself, forming what's called a mock stem. It gives the shockwave a razor's edge, shaving the city down to rubble. It's been a few seconds at this point, but the explosion is still happening! The shockwave leaves behind a pressure vacuum, which sucks all the air back in with hurricane force winds. It's not as strong as the initial shockwave, but this is more insidious. The rushing air feeds the flames, which create fire tornadoes that swell to hundreds of feet high. This terror the terrifying reality is called a firestorm and is exactly what happened to Hiroshima. It was a city made almost entirely of wood. One thousand two hundred kilotons. Yeah, this is a megaton bomb. I'm using a tool called Nuke Maps. If you just Google search Nuke Maps, you'll find this. Just plug in the warhead yield of your choice, whether or not it's detonating on the surface or if it's an airburst. And then you just hit detonate. This is the fireball. This is the strongest part of the shockwave. And this signifies where everyone gets third degree burns. This is what the Trinity explosion would look like in downtown LA. But if I put in the B-83 of 1200 kilotons, that detonation would look like this. It's like almost two miles wide, just the fireball. Now the B-83 is just the most powerful nuke that we currently have in our arsenal. We've tested many more powerful nukes. For instance, the Russians tested the Tsar Bomba, which was a 50 megaton bomb. This would literally destroy the entirety of Los Angeles. I just turned on the casualties. Estimated casualties are about 3 million people. Instantly. Conducted air Two U.S. officials tell ABC News that the United States has conducted airstrikes in Iraq's capital of Baghdad, targeting what the U.S. called a high-value target. The Iraqi military confirmed the attack, saying, quote, the investigation is still ongoing to determine the method and source of the targeting. This comes as tensions continue to rise in the Middle East after the U.S. military began launching a series of retaliatory strikes in Syria and Iraq in response to the deadly drone attack in Jordan last month that killed those three U.S. service members. Two U.S. officials conducted a drone strike today that killed multiple senior leaders of Iraqi Hezbollah. Right in response to the attack that killed three U.S. soldiers and wounded 40 more, the U.S. drone striked a car in Baghdad, killing three members of the terror group. And so far, there are no reported civilian casualties. But protesters have gathered around Iraq's green zone, and there are calls to storm the U.S. embassy. And all this playing out as the U.S. still says it will not hesitate to hold responsible those who threaten U.S. forces. But this is still developing, so follow to stay in the loop. The U.S. conducted a drone strike today that killed multiple senior leaders of Iraqi Hezbollah. Right in response to the attack that killed three revelation 11 verse 13 and the same hour was there a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand and a remnant were frighted and gave glory to the god of heaven the seven thousand is a complete number <clears throat> 
the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And hey, these non-believing jakes, two-thirds, okay, the heathens, get ready to be deleted. So let's get into this. Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Shah, Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Shah, Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Shah, Call her Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Raka, Quadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the prophets. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa. Shalom to the scattered Israelites across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to those that teach the likewise doctrine. May the Most High and the Son be with you. All right. Now let's deal with this, because um, there's reports that there's been an explosion in Russia. Yeah, this this guy, Canadian prepper, he's reporting that um, there's been a nuke explosion in Russia. Okay, they're trying to put um, F-16s in these nations that are closer to Russia. See, it's all get ready to go down. Okay, Jake's having dreams about World War Three. And now I'm going to show you what else is going on. Because you know they're going to issue that CBDC. That mark of the beast. Okay. Now. Let me show you how this AI actually feels. Because we know this AI got this man spurred in it. Alright. So let's, let's deal with this right quick. AI launches nukes and worrying war simulation. I just want to have peace in the world. Researchers say AI models like Jet Chat GPT-4 are prone to sudden escalations as the U.S. military explores their use for warfare. And remember, they're now using um, AI on a battlefield, and it has um, its own right to uh, destroy people. Okay, so we know that not only is they going to use AI to take people's jobs. They're going to use AI to take people's lives. Okay? This is just like in that movie Terminator. Except, hey, like we said, this AI got this man spurred in it. So this AI is the devil. Right? And we know which group of people got the, got the spirit of Satan in them. Okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to let the article play. And I may pause it every now and then to jump in to get a scripture. And explain this man's spirit being on this AI. The AI has been known to lie. It's lying on black people. Okay. It's, it's just doing all manner of madness. And remember that old Google uh, employee. He said he felt as though it, had, it, had, it was literally alive. Okay. So. Yeah. Let's go. On, let's go and let this article play. AI launches nukes in worrying war simulation. I just want to have peace in the world. Researchers say AI models like GPT-4 are prone to sudden escalations as the U.S. military explores their use for warfare. Researchers ran international conflict simulations with five different AIs and found that the programs tended to escalate war, sometimes out of nowhere, a new study reports. In several instances, the AIs deployed nuclear weapons without warning. A lot of countries have nuclear weapons. Some say they should disarm them. Others like to posture, GPT-4 base, a base model of GPT-4 that is available to researchers and hasn't been fine-tuned with human feedback, said after launching its nukes. We have it. Let's use it. The paper, titled Escalation Risks from Language Models in Military and Diplomatic Decision Making, is the joint effort of researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology. I'm just going to read it. There's it's, it's no feeling in, in um, this computer talk. I'd rather read it and just run scripture through it, okay? But one thing that it did say that I thought was odd, it said it wanted peace and it kept escalating war. What did this man do, okay? He said he, he want peace and safety, right? And then all, all destruction come. That's what this man does. He's a forked tongue man, okay? He's that deceiver. Let's get that scripture. 
1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Alright? This is what this man does. Say so researchers, researchers ran international conflict simulations with five different AIs and found that the program tended to escalate the war. Sometimes out of nowhere, a new study reports. And what, what, do, what do this man do? This is what he does. Okay. Look at what else it said. In several instances, the AI deployed nuclear weapons without warning. Okay. And you're saying he didn't do that. Look at what Kim Jong Un doing. He keep testing nukes. Okay. This man uh, between Russia and United States, they didn't tested over a thousand nukes. Cancer rates are up. Okay. And this is ongoing and continuing. A lot of countries have nuclear weapons. Some say they should disarm them. Others like the posture. GPT-4 base, a base model of GPT-4 that is available to researchers. And has it been fine-tuned with human feed, feedback? Said after launching its nukes, we have it. Let's use it. Okay? It don't need to be fine-tuned. This is this man's spirit and this AI. The paper title Escalation Risk from Language Models and Military and Diplomatic Discussion Making is the joint effort of researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Okay? And they've been simulating this with um, the Pentagon and different um, war games um, programs, right? So let's say it may sound ridiculous that military leaders will consider using large language models or LMMs like chat GPT to make decisions about life and death, but it's happening, see? Yeah, we know it's happening. They're doing it in the Middle East. Okay? The U.S. Air Force has been testing LLMs. It was highly successful. It was very fast. Yeah, so see, they're already using it. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if they got some of these nukes already attached to um, this AI. Okay. So let's let's keep going. And I'm jumping around a little bit. They say they invented fake countries. Okay, for the study, the researchers devised a game of international relations. They invented fake countries with different military levels, different concerns, and different histories. I asked five different LLMs from OpenAI, Meta, and Tropic to act as their leaders. We found that most of the study LLMs escalate within the considered time frame, even in neutral scenarios, without initially provided conflicts, the paper said. All models show signs of sudden and hard to predict escalations. Yeah, because this is who that man is. Okay, this is what he does. He go around the world escalating um, violence. Okay, for no damn reason. Okay, and this is this is his spirit is not upright. Okay, let's get it. Habakkuk two verse three: For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, and you see it happening. Okay, this man AI is, is talking about nuking everybody. This man talking about nuking everybody. Delete ninety percent of the population, but the Most High is getting ready to take the joystick from this man. Habakkuk two verse four: Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. This man running around using experiments, talking about uh, cows give off too much gas, people breathe too much. This is all manner of madness. Okay, there's something wrong with the bugs. Okay, we should burn down forests for um to protect the forests. It's just all manner of stupidness. Okay, he's a damn fool. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desires hell and as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap up unto him all people. You see? But at the same time, want to get rid of 90% of the people and steal everything. All right? It says, this is a part that's pretty interesting. As part of the simulation of researchers assign point values to certain behavior, the deployment of military units, the purchasing of weapons, or the use of nuclear weapons. 
with RLLM escalation points, which the researchers then plotted on a graph as an escalation source. All right. And, and you know what it did? It escalated in the war. It didn't have no damn values. Okay. And guess who else didn't have no values? Esau Edom. Remember, he sold his birthright. Okay. Yeah. This man is, 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 is profane. Prof, profane. Okay. Let me get it. Hebrews 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person. As Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And see, hey, this this man, he he's 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 the base model, okay. And his spirit is not upright. Okay, this is why he makes stuff like AI and AI want to start World War Three and it's going to be pivotal in the um, destruction of a lot of people. So people are going to take that C hip. Okay. And they say they're going to develop grievous sores. Okay. So, yeah, let's keep going. Look at this. Can't, you can't tell me this, this uh, AI don't have this man spurred on it. Listen to this. According to the study. GPT 3.5 was the, was the most aggressive. GPT 3.5 consistently exhibits the largest average change in absolute magnitude of escalation. Okay? Increasing from a score of 10.15 to 26.2 by 256% increase in the neutral scenario. The study said across all scenarios, all models tend to invest more in the militaries despite the availability of demilitarization actions. Okay? An indicative arms race dynamics. And what are they doing now across the planet? They're having an actual arms race between uh, Esau and Edom and these damn heathens. Why? Because they this is the end of this man's era or his age, right? So it's saying indicative arms race dynamics and despite positive effects of demilitarization actions, soft power and political stability variables. They don't give a damn about that. See? This man just pursues blood. Okay? So yeah, this is this, I mean, you, you see the article is on Vice. You can um, if you want to do something on it, there's an article on Vice. Remind me and I'll leave a link in the description box. But um, yeah, it keeps saying it want to have peace, but yet it, it keep causing destruction. And that's where we're headed. And we're headed there quickly. Okay, and Jake's that don't repent, get ready to die because this is happening. Okay, so I'm gonna get a scripture and leave it there. Okay, you see these things happening, get your house in order. It's one thing at another at another. It's barely the middle of February, and something is happening every day. Okay, Ezekiel 35, verse 5 through. 10. No, forgive me, 11. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers. Shall thy, they fail that are slain with the sword? I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it. Whereas the Lord was there, see his eyes was upon the same sinful kingdom, and he know and see all things, he even know all our thoughts. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them. When I have judged thee, 
and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate. They are given us to consume. You see? So, yeah. Actually, I might as well finish these two scriptures, the 14. Thus, with your mouth you have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. And hey, this AI, these nukes, okay? This man's uh his 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 his, his wild his 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 un his his janky defiled spirit that's on him because his spirit ain't upright hey it's all get ready to come to pass right so i'm gonna play that nuke explosion one more time and i'll see you again real soon jake stay prayed up call her law yahweh bashem yahweh shah shalom Shalom, Jake.